Welcome to all in this class. Today we will learn another important topic in the subject of financial management that is known as dividend policy. The basic objective of this particular chapter or dividend policy is depending upon the dividend policy how a company can enhance the market value. One particular concept also need to know to understand the chapter of dividend policy. Let's look at the income statement here. Once you follow the income statement, no one by one, sales less variable cost, we got contribution, from contribution we less fixed cost, we got EBDIT, actually earning before depreciation interest and tax, from earning before depreciation interest and tax, cost we pay depreciations, we got EBIT, next we pay interest to the debenture holder or other loans. Then we got EBT that is earning before tax, finally we pay tax and the final amount we got PAT. That PAT is basically considered that the amount of profit which is available to the shareholders. Now PAT also we pay preference shareholders dividend. After pay of the preference shareholders dividend from PAT, finally the amount which is remained to be exclusively for equity shareholders, such amount is known as EAS. EAS the amount which is exclusively available to equity shareholders at the end of the year, of course it is a profit, whatever the activity is done, how the business uh, organized throughout the year, based on that, at the end of the year, what profit earned by organizations, that EAS, that EAS, earnings available to equity shareholder, if we divide by number of equity share, we get it earnings per share. Earning per share is one of the important items. That out of that earning per share, the basic concept is that how much the company retained in the business, how much the company retained in the business and how much the company paid as a dividend, that is most important factor. Out of the total earnings, what proportion per share the company retained in the business and what proportion the company paid as a dividend, that is most important factor. The earning per share in short is also known as EPS or rather earning per share. Now the proportion of amount which the company paid as a dividend to the shareholders it is known as dividend per share or rather what you want DPS in short. Okay. So suppose if a company earn rupees 8 per share just imagine and the company decide to pay equity shareholder rupees 6 then the amount is to the company which is not paid to the shareholder that is known as retained targets. Okay. Then out of it we can say rupees 6 the company pays dividend and rupees 2 the company retained. That retention ratio and DPS is basically considered in a proportion and which is not the important part. What proportion the company pay and what proportion the company retain. And in most of the cases, you have to make a trade off between that retention ratio and dividend payout ratio. Then, three specific models we are going to discuss in this chapter. One is Walter model, that is also known as dividend relevance theory. Another model is MM model, that is also known as dividend relevance theory. Another model is Walter model, that model is known as dividend retain theory. Now we are going to discuss about Walter's model. Finally, market value of equity shares, which is considered as P, P stands for market value per share, can be calculated by applying Walter's model by that particular formula P plus. R by K, E minus D divided by K. This stands for dividend per share, E stands for earnings per share, R stands for market rate of return, K stands for cost of capital. Now, what is the difference between R and K? In the business class, what is the average return or market return a firm can get? That is, what market return available for doing the business. Cost of capital basically signifies that for organizing that business whatever capital we required to maintain that capital what exact amount of cost we need to pay off to the capital holder. 
that is considered as cost of capital. Suppose you collect 1000 rupees from a person to whom you need to pay 10% interest and you on that 1000 rupees you organize a business and you, are, you want a profit of 200 rupees. Now the question is your business returning 20%. The return of the business is 20%. Whereas from where you collect the capital of that 1000 rupees, you have to pay back what percentage? 10%. That 10% what you have to pay back is considered as cost of capital. And that 20% what you want by organizing your business is known as R or market rate of return. Specifically, in further discussions of Walter's model, that R and K. These two particular components play a pivotal role or vital role in the model of Mr. Walter. R and K, the comparison of R and K signifies the status of a firm. Either it is in growth phase or either it is considered as growth firm or declining firm or normal firm. A firm can be categorized depending upon the relationship between R and K. If R is greater than K, which signifies that the condition of growth phase of the firm or the firm can be categorized as a growth firm. In case of R equals to K, it is known as, according to that Walters model, it is considered as a firm can be considered as normal firm. If in a particular firm the rate of return is less than the cost of capital, then that firm is considered as declining. Now, the position of that firm, either it is growth firm or normal firm or declining firm, play a vital role in the concept of Walters model. Yes, Walters model is considered as dividend relevance model. We can write here, it is dividend relevance model. Now the relevancy of dividend is also dependent upon R and K. According to Mr. Walter, in case of growth firm, the company rather than paying the dividend, the company should retain the dividend. In case of normal firm, either the company pay dividend or retain the dividend, it does not have any impact. In case of declining firm, it is suggested that under Walter's model, the company rather than returning the dividend, the company pay more and more dividend. Now I'm going to discuss a Gordon model. Gordon models also can be categorized as a part of dividend relevance model. The Gordon model market value per share can be calculated as follows. E equals to E E1 minus B K minus B. This is the formula of Gordon models. It is known P stands for market value per share, E stands for earnings per share as well. Earnings per share. K stands for cost of capital as usual. R stands for market rate of return. And B stands for retention ratio. Retention ratio. After getting the TPS, there are two ratios basically. One is dividend payout ratio. In the Gordon model, we are following retention. That retention ratio is considered over here as small p. Okay, that is retention ratio. The another model, which is also commonly used regarding the dividend decisions, which is known as Modi Gilani Miller model. Mr. Modi Gilani and Mr. Miller invented that model, but the thing is that. That model is difference in the approach of dividend policy in respect of Walters model and Gordon models. Modibility Miller models is well accepted in regards of dividend irrelevance approach. That is why Modibility Miller model can be categorized as 
dividend irrelevance theory. Consider as dividend irrelevance theory or the irrelevance model. This is the clarification of Modigliani Miller model. It is one of the renowned model in respect of dividend irrelevance theory and those who support that dividend doesn't have any particular impact on market value of the firm in this regards. MM approach is one of the renowned theory you can say. The formula is P equals to P0 1 plus K minus D. P0 stands for market value per share at the beginning of the year. K stands for cost of capital. D stands for dividend per share. There are most of the cases in case of dividend decisions, in case of dividend policy, in generally in graduations level, we are basically follow these three models. Out of these three models, Gordon models and Walters models can be categorized as a dividend relevant model, and Walters model you can categorize as dividend irrelevant model. Thank you.